Wealthtech um, has made investments for retail investors everywhere a lot more accessible, efficient, cheaper. Um, what do you think that that means for exchanges going forward? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, Wealthtech, I guess we're talking about sort of digital only kind of traditional brokerage business repackaged probably as a mobile app with uh, some kind of research, whether it's robo-advisory or peer-to-peer -peer advice or chat boards, kind of around it, a community, which is really just sort of taking a traditional brokerage sell-side research business and kind of modernizing it, refreshing it for the 21st century. So in that sense, it's probably nothing, nothing terribly new. Uh, the exchange still benefits uh, to the extent that people come and sort of end up trading the stocks that they're talking about or researching on these apps. I think what's interesting to observe, uh, you know, there's positives and risks uh, to this. It's a very hot topic at the moment. I mean, we're, at the, uh, we're near the end of January 2021. In the US, there's been a lot of, um, you know, Reddit message yes. groups, chat boards, people pumping up stocks like GameStop and Nokia yes. and BlackBerry and Bed Bath Beyond. And you're almost sort of being awake at night. So what, what's happening? Something's moving by 200 yeah. percent. And people are very overt that they're just consciously pumping the stock. And Elon Musk tweets about it. It doubles again and so forth. Mm. Uh, what's really happening here? I think if you look at the positive sides of it, the fact that more people who previously perhaps were not engaged in the stock market are taking an interest you know, whatever form that interest takes initially, if it improves financial literacy, if it improves sort of involvement, economic empowerment, mm. I think long term it can only be a good thing. Mm. And this is similar to what I talked about, about the structural shift towards the average sort of public retail investors who will be the big investors of tomorrow, yes. some of them. Right? But I also think there's, you know, some debate to be had about what are the risks of this, especially if it's groupthink. If is this pump and dump yes. manipulation? Is it is it something that the regulators should, uh, you know, try to set guardrails against, or is it just free market forces and no one can stop somebody from having an opinion about mm. a stock? I mean, that's one of the things that makes the markets work is everybody can have an opinion, mm. long or short. Mm. Um, I think there's probably no obvious answer. I would be surprised if there is an obvious answer to that question. Mm. I think regulators in the coming months will be scratching their heads, mm. asking themselves, well. What can we do? Uh, should the company whose stock price is moving like crazy, should they say something? Mm. Uh, should these investors be allowed to be on these chat boards? I mean, what is the consequence if we don't allow that? I think this is going to be one to watch.